Sony, Nikon, and Canon, the three big players in the camera industry are on their way to reveal their groundbreaking cameras. From advanced mirrorless systems to reimagined DSLRs, these upcoming releases are set to redefine what's possible in both still photography and videography. In today's video, we will see 10 cameras that are coming this year or the next, which you should wait for. So, let's begin. The highly awaited Sony A7S IV is on its way to shake up the video-centric mirrorless camera market. This model is rumored to feature a new 24-megapixel Exmor R sensor with a groundbreaking two-layer design, potentially offering superior low-light performance. Video features are expected to include 4K 60p with full-frame 6K oversampling, 4K 120p in Super 35mm mode, and even 6K recording up to 120 FPS. The camera may boast improved body stabilization up to 8 stops and new digital stabilization features. While maintaining a compact, durable build, the A7S IV could see refinements in ergonomics and weather sealing. A great surprise is the rumored 3.69M.EVF, a seeming downgrade from its predecessor. Expected to launch in late 2024, the A7S IV might be priced competitively between $2,700 and $3,000, offering advanced features at a potentially lower price point than the A7S III. Up next, we have the Sony A12, which is also reported to get an impressive upgrade to its predecessor. While retaining the impressive 50.1 megapixel full-frame sensor, it's expected to significantly boost performance. Speculation points to a shooting speed of around 60 FPS, bridging the gap between the original A1's 30 FPS and the A93's 120 FPS. The new model may feature an ultra-fast maximum shutter speed of 180,000. Video capabilities are likely to include 4K 120fps recording with advanced S-gamut cine color profiles. Sony might incorporate AI-driven improvements to autofocus and tracking, building on technologies seen in other recent models. The E-mount system is expected to remain unchanged, maintaining compatibility with Sony's extensive lens lineup. While unconfirmed, we can anticipate a possible announcement 2024, with a potential release in late 2024 or early 2025. The estimated price could be around $7,500. The A7R6 is set to make waves in the photography world this summer, with Sony aiming to preempt Canon's expected Olympics release. While detailed specifications remain under wraps, insider information indicates that this new model will feature groundbreaking technology. At the heart of the A7R6 is a stacked CMOS sensor, potentially pushing resolution up to 100 megapixel. This advanced sensor design could offer improved readout speeds and reduced rolling shutter effects, enhancing both still and video performance. Speaking of video, the A7R6 is rumored to boast significantly upgraded video abilities. This could mean higher frame rates at 4K, improved codecs, or even 8K recording options, positioning it as a hybrid powerhouse for professionals. With its summer release target, the A7R6 looks set to redefine high-resolution mirrorless cameras, maintaining a competitive edge in the market. For the last Sony camera, we have the Sony A7 V, a significant upgrade in the A7 lineup. Expected to feature a new 44-megapixel IMX366 sensor with twice the readout speed, 
It promises enhanced performance with a lower base ISO and improved dynamic range. The camera is rumored to offer 14-bit raw shooting at 10 FPS for up to 1000 frames. It is rumored that the camera can shoot 7K full-width oversampled 4K recording at up to 60 FPS, though possibly with a crop at 4K, 60p. In terms of design, it's expected to feature a 4-axis multi-angle LCD monitor and a high-resolution 9.40 form dot viewfinder. Other potential features include an advanced AI processing unit, 8-stop stabilization, dual CF Express Type-A compatible media slots, and AI-based functionalities like auto-framing and breathing compensation. While rumored to be priced at around €3,000, the A7 V aims to be Sony's most versatile hybrid camera yet. Nikon Z50 Mark II is shaping up to be a great addition to the series, aiming to satisfy both photographers and videographers. The camera is expected to feature a new 26 megapixels BSI sensor, paired with Nikon's latest Xspeed 7 or 8 processor for improved image quality and performance. Key additions include in-body image stabilization and an enhanced 3D autofocus system, addressing two major requests from users. Nikon Z50 Mark II is rumored to introduce USB-C power delivery, more customizable functions, and three recall settings for quick access to preferred configurations. Even though exact details about the video feature are yet unavailable, we can expect a 240fps slow motion recording. Other anticipated features include a 1-3 grid, backup, restore settings, and direct mapping of buttons to functions. While an official announcement is expected in November this year, Nikon has yet to confirm a release date for this promising mirrorless camera. Next, we got the Nikon Z9H, a revolutionary addition to the professional camera market. Rumored to feature a 20.4 megapixel sensor with a lightning fast 0.4 millisecond readout and global shutter, it promises to eliminate rolling shutter effects and enable flash sync at speeds up to 1 2000 second. This speed monster is expected to rival or even surpass the Sony A93's 120fps continuous shooting with full AF and AE. To power this performance, it may employ dual Xspeed 7 processors or the newer Xspeed 8. A high-resolution mode is also rumored, allowing the Z9H to compete with higher megapixel cameras. Building on the Z9's autofocus system, it's likely to offer improved subject recognition and tracking. While initial reports suggested a 2024 Olympics timed release, more recent rumors point to a Q1 2025 launch. If these specs materialize, the Z9H could redefine expectations for action, sports, and wildlife photography. The Nikon Z7 III is reported to feature a groundbreaking 90.75 megapixels BSI CMOS sensor with an 88.48 megapixels readable area. This high-resolution sensor is paired with Nikon's Xspeed 7 processor, enabling impressive shooting capabilities. The camera offers up to 14 FPS continuous shooting with a mechanical shutter and 20 FPS with an electronic shutter in full-frame mode. Video specs are equally impressive, with support for 12K in full frame, 8K in DX crop, and various 4K options. The Z7 III can record 12-bit N RAW footage at up to 12K 30p in full frame or 8K 60p in DX mode. It also supports ProRes 422HQ and N Log 2 for enhanced color grading flexibility. The camera provides an advanced dual-stream AF system with updated AI algorithms, promising performance surpassing the Z9 and Z8 models. Other notable features include 8-stop IBIS, a dual-axis multi-angle LCD screen, pixel-shift high-resolution mode, 
and dual card slots supporting CF Express B and SD US 2 cards. The Canon EOS R6 Mark III is rumored to be in development for a potential release in late 2024 or early 2025. The camera is expected to feature a 24-megapixel sensor related to the stacked sensor found in the EOS R3, which could significantly improve readout speeds and reduce rolling shutter effects. The R6 Mark III is anticipated to offer increased frame rates for stills photography, possibly including a CF Express Type B card slot. This upgrade could position the R6 series more firmly in the sports and hybrid photography market. The camera is likely to feature an improved Digic X processor. The EVF is expected to be similar to that of the EOS R5, rather than the advanced version with Eye Control AF in the R5 Mark II. The EOS R6 Mark III could help Canon maintain its competitive edge in the mid-range full-frame mirrorless camera segment. Next, we have been hearing rumors for very long about the Canon EOS RS, potentially aimed at bridging the gap between the EOS R5 and R3 models. Speculation indicates that it will feature a 45-megapixel sensor, placing it firmly in the high-resolution category. The camera is expected to include in-body image stabilization offering 5 stops of correction alone, or up to 7-8 stops when combined within lens stabilization. Continuous shooting speeds are rumored to be 14 FPS mechanical and 20 FPS electronic. With alleged support for 8K RAW at 30 FPS, 4K at 120 FPS, and 4K at 60 FPS, it can be a game changer for videographers. Other notable features include a redesigned rear control layout with a scroll wheel, the removal of the controversial touch bar, and a larger capacity battery in the familiar LPE6 form factor. No accurate release date is available for this model yet. But given the specs, we can expect it to be a top choice for both photographers and videographers. Finally, we got the EOS R1X, rumored to be a flagship mirrorless camera that could redefine high-resolution photography. It might feature an impressive 80-megapixel sensor paired with a global shutter, setting new standards in the full-frame market. While maintaining a similar body design to the EOS Roan, the R1X is expected to offer significant improvements in image quality and features. The high-resolution sensor could provide exceptional detail and cropping flexibility, addressing criticisms of the R1's 24.2-megapixel sensor. It is speculated to shoot stunning 8K videos, a feature absent in the Roan. The R1X may also incorporate advanced AI capabilities, improved dynamic range, and possibly internal ND filters. These features could make it a versatile tool for various photography genres, particularly excelling in challenging lighting conditions and fast action scenarios. Pricing is expected to exceed the EOS R1's $6,299 tag, with a possible development announcement in mid-2025. However, exact specifications, pricing, and release dates remain speculative and subject to change. That's all for today about 10 upcoming cameras that you must wait for. Let us know which one are you most excited about. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.